down here. Now they can in fact hear you from here, so let's start giving them a wonderful welcome here to Sunderland. I can't hear you, come on! Hey! So getting back into that stack again, right at the very top of the stack are the first years, the one that joined us at the beginning of the season. Halfway down are the second years, and right at the very bottom of the stack are the third years. The reason why we do that is because the more experienced are at the bottom, so if the team coach had to cut away and go on to his reserve parachute, we'd have the next experience to be able to lead the team down here. Now up there they're battling against somewhat 15 to 20 knot winds. So it's very hard indeed to keep in that stack. Back to Mike. This is precision parachuting at its very best, ladies and gentlemen. I said they can hear you. Come on, let's give them a wonderful welcome. Hey! Remember, the parachute jump instructors at the number one parachute training school that will now go on to train our very, very special forces. Throughout any season, we do about a hundred displays. And then we go off to California and we do 30 jumps a day, 10 jumps a day for 30 days and repeat that in another month. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as they land, I'll introduce them to you. We've got Flight Sergeant Mike McGuire from Nottingham, the team coach. Sergeant Rob Priestley from Middlesbrough. Sergeant Liam Lyons from Worcester. Sergeant Scott Garrett from Auckland in New Zealand. Sergeant Chris Williams from Glenavan in South Wales. Corporal Ryan Norris from Tredegar in South Wales. Corporal Neil Connell from Stamford in
for an action flown by the ambulance and also University Air Squad. So, if you're a university student or in the Air or thinking of joining the Air Cadets, then you too can be flying this aircraft soon and you can also do an aerobatic flight seat gravity performing excellent on the today. Talking about Andy, the plane pilot, let me uh, tell you a bit about, about him. Quite a fellow Andy Priest. He joined the Air Force back in 1991. And when he joined, he was a navigator. He went on to be a navigator in the tornado. And then he crossed over. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a very good afternoon to you. Please be passing right to left, right, that is Dave Kirk, the 2014 Royal Air Force in college flight. Pulling up into a far horizontal lane. See so him pulling the aircraft onto its back there, inverted before rolling out of an almost vertical dive. Running out back along the way. And they pull it up to five times the force of gravity. That means all its arms and legs weigh, and the rest of his body for that matter weighs up to five times the normal weight. And he has to strain against that increased g force to prevent him from blacking out under the strain. Now, as you know, his uh, previous experience as an aviator, no stranger to display flying either, is he? He was uh, last year's car display team manager, but also before that, the captain of the uh, Royal Air Force C-130J Hercules role demo. And also a uh, captain of the uh, Hercules aircraft, which dropped the uh, RAF Falcon parachute display team.
your aircraft in and they would be But uh, it's, uh, it's fantastic having a look at the hangar there, seeing all the aircraft. As you go into the hangar, there's a wonderful smell of all the aircraft.
a synchro pair leave their smoke on, they turn away from us at 6G or... As the synchro pair slingshot out to the front, you need to look to our left to find Ine. to add a final touch, his smoke's about to come on. Red 8 pilot to the Martin Pert. He is another third year pilot with the team. Another former Hawk instructor and Harrier pilot who's drawing his spear. Ladies and gentlemen, Red 6, 7 and 8 with their heart and spear. using the individual colour control buttons on the aircraft's control column. Now look to your right 45 degrees to find Enid. Good night, good job. 
to roll around six and seven. They then roll. Get your cameras ready for the gym mode break. Good end, boys.